Hi and welcome to The Hospitality Coach. My name's Peter Giannakis and this is Driving With Pete. Today I'm going to discuss the subject of uh, asking for feedback. Uh, I was in a cafe not too long ago and I was talking with the business owner and I saw a father walk in with who I assume is their son. They walked into the cafe, they looked at the display cabinet and they walked straight out. Now that that burns me. Um, I, I can't stand seeing things like that. And the business owner just didn't register fast enough to to ask the question, you, you know, uh, what can I help you with? Were you looking for something in particular? Um, or even just the cheeky question, you know, uh, accosting them before they leave the cafe and asking, what was it about the cafe this afternoon that, uh, that, that didn't deliver what you were expecting? Um, that feedback is absolutely invaluable. You know, we I'm assuming that you've got some level of internal feedback from your customers, whether it's uh, you, you're getting it from social media or you've got feedback forms on the counter or whether or not you're communicating with your, your staff on a regular basis and asking them what, what your customers are actually saying. But that feedback's, that feedback's good. That feedback is coming from people that are already visiting your cafe and experiencing your service and product. Probably the more valuable feedback uh, I find is the feedback from people that aren't visiting my cafe and aren't experiencing my service and product. And they're really difficult to access, but they're super important. The amount of times I will visit a place that has a terrible product with terrible service and the owner will say to me, oh, my customers absolutely love this or love that. And I know for a fact that they're selling very little of that particular product relative to what they can be doing. <clears throat> of course, they don't realize that. <clears throat> and they think the product they're producing is sensational because the few customers that are purchasing it are giving them good feedback about it. <clears throat> it's a bit of a false positive really because you've already got those customers. What about the hundreds of other customers that you don't have that you don't know about? That's the trap. So. Um, we really need to find a way to engineer a, a form of feedback from the people around us that aren't visiting us. And sometimes that's as simple as, yeah, like I said, catching the people before they leave your establishment when they walk in and walk out. Or visiting some of the local businesses around your business, going in there and asking for feedback on your business. You know, if you've got people that, that either live or work around your, your business, leave your workplace, get out there and ask for some feedback about that particular business. They may or may not know that you're the business owner or the manager, and that doesn't matter. But get out there and ask for some feedback because the feedback from the people that aren't using your services is the most valuable. Why aren't you using my services? How do you perceive my product or service? Okay, what would it take to get you to visit my 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 business? So absolutely invaluable feedback there. I hope you've uh, learned something from today's uh, session. If uh, you want more information, please uh, visit thehospitalitycoach.net. My name's Peter Giannakis. I'm the Hospitality Coach. This is Driving With Pete.